So my boyfriend keeps joking that I've just turned our entire room into a giant pile of clothing. I've got clothes here, 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 and here. So safe to say I'm not going to be a nudist anytime soon. So yeah, as you can see, I definitely have a problem with way too much clothes. Honestly, no one person ever needs this amount of clothing, so I definitely need to cut down. It's honestly quite stressful sometimes as well. I feel like there's never enough space in the wardrobe. There's always clothes everywhere. There's always washing to do. It's just a nightmare, and it's making me feel really stressed out, so I think this is well overdue. I've been putting this off for probably like a year now, so I think today I'm just going to tackle everything. We're going to Marie Kondo this bitch, and we're going to hope that everything goes smoothly. So I think the game plan is going to be for me to make a couple different piles so I can kind of keep things organised and kind of see where everything's at. So the piles are going to be keeping, obviously. There's going to be a donation pile, there's going to be an alteration pile, so things that need like a little bit of TLC but overall pretty good items. Then there's going to be a complete revamp thrift flip pile, so things that are just completely far gone but I still like the fabric or they have hope. And then obviously a maybe pile because I'm terrible at making decisions. So hopefully that will help me stay organised. But before we do that, I'm going to have to empty all of these bags out onto the bed. So let's do that first. Okay, I just want to real quick say sorry for the gross ball of fluff on my ass. These shorts are tracked here like nobody's business and we have three cats. So you can only imagine how much hair we have on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, sorry about the hairy hairball on my butt. Let me take the time. I know you like when I describe it. I've been lying to myself, truth I wanna hide it. Fall in love in seven days a week and won't describe it. I've been trying many things, but nothing comes as close as flying. In the same plane as you walk it, we can make it get away only for two. I know you're really fond of breaking backwards and breaking roads cold. I got a couple things I think that I can really get used to. You do it through the saying that you leave in the room. Um, this is honestly a lot worse than I thought it would be, so yeah, I am scared, but we'll see how we go. So right now I think I'm just throwing all the yeses on that side and all the noes on that side, and I'm not going to deal with the maybes or anything just yet because there's so many clothes, I can't even put anything anywhere, like there's so much. So yeah, I'm just throwing the yeses and the noes. While I do this sort through, I wanted to briefly touch upon how this happened, like how did I end up with this amount of clothing? So when I was growing up, my parents owned their own business where they rented out rooms for short term stay for like people who were travelling and stuff like that. And it was going really well until we had major earthquakes all across New Zealand. It was really devastating, unfortunately a lot of people lost their lives, buildings were lost and the tourists obviously left the country. Now obviously I'm really thankful that no one I knew personally was injured, but we did go through some pretty tough times money-wise for a few years while the city was in shambles and rebuilding. I remember when the travellers left, they would just throw away all their clothing they didn't want anymore into the big bins like on the curb to the side of the road like where the rubbish truck picks them up because they were moving back to their own country and I guess they didn't know like you could donate them to a thrift store. And my mum would take the clothing from the bins that these people like threw away and bring them home and we would wear them because they were free and it was just another way to save money. When I was growing up, my mum also had so many clothes because we would always get them free from like the garbage bins, um, like I said before. So she had so many clothes that they wouldn't fit into a wardrobe so we had like a mountain of clothing in our living room. I'm talking like a proper mountain, like hundreds of items high. And when we needed new clothing, sometimes we would just like go through this hoard and see what we could find, just like scavenge around like little rats. And at one point it got so big and the pile was there literally so long that the carpet went moldy underneath and moths laid eggs in the clothing pile. Now obviously it isn't the full picture and financially we're all fine now, don't worry. But I think it's important to think about your past and your childhood when it comes to behaviours like hoarding or finding it difficult to let items go because a lot of times these behaviours were rooted in the past. I've always had this scarcity mindset when it comes to clothing in part due to experiences like the ones I shared. I never wore my favourite items because what if they got ruined, what if I spilled something on it and it was stained. I stopped wearing my favourite shorts because they started to like pill and I didn't want them to ruin them so instead I wore items that I didn't really like because then I wouldn't mind getting them dirty. I used to always keep clothing and never get rid of it because I felt like I would need it one day or maybe my style would change and I'd like that piece then and it was just easier to keep everything than have to make another decision that day. I would also buy so many things whenever I went thrifting because it was so cheap and even if I didn't like them that much I felt like if I didn't take them home with me it would just end up in the landfill and I felt bad like it was my personal responsibility to save each and every item so I ended up just buying so much stuff that I didn't wear. 
With this clean out, I'm trying to let go of these worries and focus on what brings me joy and what serves me day to day instead of overthinking. I don't want to be a minimalist and I don't need to have the perfect Pinterest wardrobe that's perfectly organised and all the little boxes and all the little matching coat hangers. I just want to make sure that every item I have has a purpose and I actually use it and I don't want to have to keep keeping things just because I'm feeling weird anxiety about money or about weird ideologies that I have about clothing. I just want to let all of those go. I also just want to say a quick disclaimer that I've been thrifting pretty much all my own clothing except for underwear for the past like three years now so pretty much all the stuff I'll be getting rid of today will essentially just be going back to the thrift store and hopefully into someone else's wardrobe who will love it more than me. I think this is really important to talk about because I keep seeing people who do closet cleanouts and they throw away like half of their wardrobe and donate it and then like six months later they buy an entire new wardrobe from Zara or H&M or another stupid fast fashion company and it's honestly so disgusting. I don't want to be a part of that, so that's why I'm just mentioning that really quick. All of the stuff is thrifted, so it's kind of just going back where it came from. I think the future of fashion is definitely circular. So the thing as well, like some of these clothes, I am obsessed with, I love them, but I never wear them, and I want to be that girl who wears them. Like, I want to be that girl who wears like a maxi denim skirt, but like, do I? No, and I'm like, do I keep it? Because it's literally just for my future self. Like, it's literally for my, like, dream self. But I'm not that person. So, I don't know what to do. Maybe they're all just gone maybe, and I try them on. Or do I give them, like, a notice period, like, a month, and then if I don't wear them within a month, I get rid of them? Like, what do you guys do when you just have so many pieces that you're obsessed with, but you literally just never wear them? Because I'm stuck. Some of the stuff I honestly don't know if I've ever worn, and that's kind of scary, like, the amount of stuff we hold on to for literally no reason, like, why do I own some of the stuff that I've never worn? It's just mind-boggling. I think also like a lot of us have a scarcity mindset and it's like we're getting rid of stuff so we're gonna have less but in reality we should think of it as a positive like we're getting things because all the stuff I barely wore any of it because it was all like tangled up in a big mess and I didn't even know where it was and so I never wore any of my favorite stuff and it's like I just wore the same outfits repeat after repeat because it was just simple it was easy I knew where they were but now that I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff I don't wear I'm gonna actually see the stuff that I love I'm gonna wear it more often. So I actually think that I'm gonna come out of this feeling like I have more clothes than when I started. So I think that is a positive. This bag has been in storage for probably like two years because it got lost so I actually have no idea what's inside so it's gonna be a little surprise for both me and you. Let's have a little look. Oh it's definitely going out. piles are roughly done so my three smaller piles ended up just being merged into one this is my maybe pile my altering pile and my um thrift flip pile but i guess i'm just going to try them on and see what work needs to be done and what i can get rid of oh god i don't even know if it will go up this way i might have to put it on the other one 
<laughs> you know those dresses that like you can't you can't get out okay no it's not gonna happen let's try the other way I literally got this dress for a Halloween party like I don't remember what I was thinking but I thought I could go as like one of the Flintstones and this could be my like dress but I never went and now I just have this random dress I actually think it's really fun but I just I'm not gonna wear it like it's just too much it's not me so I hope someone else wears this because it's actually really flattering so but yeah definitely a no this one has cute little ducks on it so it's obviously a keep I don't know how I feel about this the stripes look good on me probably not so I've got one two three and I've got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so I have over eleven button-ups um, I don't think any one girl needs that many button-ups so I think I'm gonna pick like my three favorite or something and then I'm gonna get rid of the rest because it's a bit ridiculous again I've owned this for so many years probably like I'm not even joking like four years at this point and I literally like don't even remember a single time I've worn it but it's so cute like I don't know why I never wore it I think it's because I'm kind of self-conscious about my arms and it has this little cap sleeve but I think it's really cute and like whatever who cares about my arms you know so like I think I'm gonna actually force myself to wear this because I really like it you know do my arms even look that bad I don't think so so I think I'm definitely gonna force myself to wear this oh my god guys I found another button up like I don't understand how I have so many button ups I think I like collect them because they're always in really nice fabrics like they're always in like really beautiful linens but like how many button ups does one girl need this one is nice though this one is nice okay I'll just keep one more one more so this is this gorgeous top it's very like coquette I remember I bought this in literally the children's section at a thrift store and but it kind of fits perfectly it's like really hard to get on that's the only problem but once you get it on whew, it's pretty cute and it's got like these little ties that you can like tie at the back I think I should definitely wear this. It does make me very like rectangular, which I normally like more of a waist cinch, but I still think it's really cute. You know, I thought this was gonna be a definite no, but I actually kinda like it. Like, it's pretty short and cute. I remember I altered it so the waistband was up higher, and I actually think it's kinda good. Oh, I don't know, it's so hard to tell. It's so hard to tell. Like, should I keep it? Will I wear it? I'm not sure. It is kinda cute. And like it's pretty flattering I don't know it's a thing though like keeping maybes has gotten to me into this place so maybe I shouldn't keep it but then like it is cute and maybe I will wear it I think I'll get rid of it honestly how many button-ups I've literally found two more button-ups like I don't even know how many button-ups I've found at this point like probably over 20 it's just honestly ridiculous who needs this many button ups? I think I'll get rid of both of these. Oh, I don't know. No, I think I have to. So then all my family went out onto the deck, which is literally right beside this giant window in my room. And they saw my camera propped up and this huge mountain of clothing. And I got really embarrassed because they don't really know about my YouTube channel. So I stopped filming and doing try-ons and I'ma just sort out the rest of it while I'm putting everything away because then I can hide my camera in a different part of my room and I can't see. So yeah. Well, after all that sorting, here's the final result. 
So all my tops and my long sleeves are in here. All my bottoms and sleeping t-shirts are in this drawer. The dresses and the gazillion button-ups I still have are all hung up here. Then here's this giant pile of things I want to alter or like flip. So I'm giving myself one month from now and if I don't tackle this pile by then, I'm just going to cut my losses and donate them or give them to friends and family who might like them just as they are. And here's the stuff I'm going to donate. It's a full trash bag so yeah, he's a pretty big boy and I'm really happy with that. Wow, it's finally done. I'm so happy with the results. Obviously, it's not like the picture perfect thing. I feel like most people get rid of so much stuff when they do wardrobe cleanouts. But honestly, I don't say that I'm a minimum minimalist. I don't want to be a minimalist. I just want to have a good wardrobe that I wear all the stuff. And I think this was a great declutter for me. Like, I got rid of the whole bag of things that I know that I'll never wear and I kept the things that I like. And I might do another one in the future, but my main goal is not to buy more stuff. I think it's really important after you do a declutter not to just buy more stuff. You really need to sit with your clothes for a while, see what you need, and then if you really need something you can get it. But I hope this kind of inspired you, helped you guys out, and gave you some motivation on your own closet clean out. You guys should definitely do one because this made me feel so much better and I feel way calmer now. And I'll see you next time. Bye!